So hello YouTube, my name is VladFarway.com and what I have in front of me is GeForce GTX 1060. I will be trying this one for mining. Now uh, I didn't buy this car, this is actually for my nephew. He bought it for, uh, well, for gaming. I'm not even quite sure how good this card actually is, since the last NVIDIA I had was, I believe, Riva TNT2. And even then I had two Voodoo 2 cards, so yeah. Although I do believe that Riva was actually way better than two Voodoo 2 cards. Not quite sure though, it was a long time ago. Then I later on switched to AMD because uh, AMD had a TV tuner which was neat back then. I, w I believe it was a Rage 3D chip or something like that, I'm not quite sure. So yeah, um, let's open this thing and let's see how good this thing actually is and what it looks like on the inside. Now I do believe that there are a lot of reviews uh, well, regarding this card, but uh, hey, as long as it's in here, why not at least unbox it and uh, Take a look at the power consumption and uh, how good for mining it actually is. Okay, so basically what you get is this is a 3D mark and uh, this is the gamer's benchmark. You know what? There you go. Have a cereal. Uh, I won't be needing it anyway. And if you have a use for it, well, have fun. Okay, so this is a. V mark, so again, what not? Have a cereal, I don't need it. And these are installation kit, which is drivers and uh, power supply guideline. This is a thing, seriously. So, this one need, needs at least 400 watts. So that's good to know. I have 600 watts. Now, let's take a look at the card itself. It's actually it's a pretty big card. And it comes in a rather small package. I do like small packages. I believe that, that uh, the uh, the guys that make these cards are just wasteful when it comes to packaging. If if you were to ask me, I would send the cards only in this. You know, because such big amount of waste is produced every day by everybody, and this is just, well, I would say, there is no need for such waste. Uh, this card is actually light and t take a look at inside, there is basically nothing, so this is not a massive heatsink. Hmm, interesting. Six pins for power, that's always nice. And this card is actually quite light, seriously. So yeah, that is pretty much it, I mean there is nothing much to show. This thing is I believe something that's... Maybe used to keep distance or something, I'm not quite sure. Well, there you have it. Uh, I will be connecting it to my computer and trying to mine with it. Let's connect it and let's see how good this thing actually is. Okay, so I did remove my, uh, well, my old card and I did install it and, well, the power consumption is, sorry for the dust, is around 200 watts. Okay, so I do need to install drivers and, well, be back. Okay, so just by having said that, Windows uh, already did that. Interesting. So yeah, let's take a look at whether this thing will start or not. Now this is actually the old miner. I will be trying with version 10, but just to see how good this actually is. I will be. I think it will be around 17 mega hashes or something like that. I'm not quite sure though, but it looks like 17. So it is at zero at the moment. Now the miner I'm using is Claymore's dual miner and uh, I am mining Ethereum. So actually it's 19 mega hashes. Now this is actually not a cheap card and these results are not that good. I suppose with overclocking you can probably get it to work a bit more. Okay, so I downloaded Nvidia Inspector and believe it or not I haven't actually started this thing yet. So let's see what, what will happen. Okay, this looks like a GPU Z to be honest. Show overclocking, that sounds promising. You're trying, yes, why not? Experimental. So, this is the clock and this is the memory. Okay, let's give it a 10% boost and uh, apply. Well, that was easy. Now, let's see whether this thing actually did help in any way. So it's Nineteen, same thing. That did not help at all. 
No, actually, this is not 10%, this is 10 megahertz, seriously. Well, okay, now what? Let's give it 200 megahertz and apply. So, yeah, 20 mega hashes. This thing actually does work. Okay, 200, 300. So, 20.7. This is actually working. I'm not quite sure what's the speed of this card. I can read it, I suppose. Uh, GPU clock, default clock. Memory is at 4000, that's 2000. Okay, let's let's give it some more boost. 400. So 21.1 mega hashes. Interesting. I mean, from 19 to uh, well, 21.1, that's actually not that bad. 500. So 21.7, so that's almost 22. And to be honest, I'm not <laughs> sure how far I can go with this. Uh, but yeah, now as you can see, this is uh, 4,500. That's, uh, I believe, a lot. 600, well, 651. So 22 mega hashes. Interesting. You know what? Let's all clock this until it crashes. I sure hope I won't I'll destroy the uh, card itself. Although I suppose it does have a warranty, but just waiting for replacement would suck. 800 megahertz. And it crashed. So I'm assuming this is a bad idea. Well, this was a bad idea. So, around 22 mega hashes. Which I would say it's not that bad. Okay, quit. So, yeah, minor restarted. But yeah, it did not actually. It did not actually. Uh, well. Uh, crashed entirely. So, okay, let's try 600 and let's see just how good this thing actually is. I will be posting the link to this NVIDIA inspector in the description, so uh, yeah. And I'm assuming you can select the cards you have in here, which is awesome. That way you can probably overclock everyone separately, which is nice. Okay, so this is 21, and we know it can go up to 22. So let's go to 700, okay. So 22.1, 22.69, 720, 22.767, oh, oh, no, oh. clock should be at default, so 750, 22.9 mega hashes. I'm not quite sure how long uh, this thing. 23.1. Okay, well, that's something. That's actually something. 23 mega hashes. And this is without modding the BIOS. I mean, whatsoever. So that's actually awesome. So I believe in, I will be leaving this thing at 23 mega hashes and uh, we'll see whether it is stable or not. So yeah. So it Okay, so this thing has been Oh, it seems that it restarted if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, it crashed. So I'm assuming that it would be stable, let's say, around uh, plus 700 megahertz, which actually gives you, I believe, 21 mega hashes, 21 point something anyway. So yeah, uh, whether this thing is worth the money, you'll be the judge. In my opinion, it's not, because it's way more expensive than uh, AMD, let's say, 570. And 570 gives you around uh, 29 mega hashes. And I don't know whether you can see it or not, but 
some artifacts okay now not because I turned off the inspector some artifacts were shown so um, I hope you like this video be sure to subscribe and that's pretty much it cheers